So you guys have seen me tease this room. It's finally time to let you in. Let's check it out. Now, I've been working on this room for a few months, so it's finally time to show you guys what I've been working on. So without further ado, Alexa, start the game room. So cool. So guys, welcome to what I'm calling the ultimate gamer's paradise. And I'm calling it that because this room has just about every aspect of gaming that you could expect. So let's start off with one of the biggest ones here, and that is the console area. So right here we have a giant 65 inch Samsung KS8500. So this TV has 4K HDR, all the bells and whistles that you'd come to expect. Now it's not OLED, that's back at the crib, but this one is actually a really nice TV. And I'm not a huge cable management guy, but I was able to get the cables hidden here. So it does have this nice little floating effect on the wall. And it even ha has that with this uh, Sono speaker system that I have here. This is the play bar. So together, they look like they're just mounted on the wall, like they're just floating, which is a really nice touch. But let's take a look at the TV stand that I've got here, since I've got quite a few things on it. So starting off from left to right, we've got the Amazon Echo Dot. Now this little thing is actually connected to these two speakers, and these are the JBL Pulse. And they're actually here with a decorative look so that you guys can see I'm rocking the teal, so it's flashing those teal lights. And the Amazon Echo Dot is connected to it. So with that, I can actually speak to it and it can actually produce some real volume. If I ask Alexa to play some music, it can do that really well with the two speakers. So going on, we've got the Apple TV. This is the latest generation. Now, I don't really have much use for it here, but it's here as an option in case I wanna buy something from the iTunes movie store or whatever. But typically with all the other things that I have hooked up, I don't use it that often. But moving on, uh, even though I have a Sonos play bar and the sound system, if I'm playing games at night and I don't wanna disturb anyone, I also have the Astro A50s. So if I'm late night gaming, I don't wanna disturb anybody, those will do the trick. And over here, of course, I have a Logitech Harmony. Now this is gonna to connect to a lot of the devices that I have here. So I don't have to have multiple remotes always reaching for another one. This kind of connects them all and just makes things a lot easier when I wanna control everything at once. And uh, down here, I've got this little guy. This is the Nest security cam. So with this, I can keep an eye on all them suckers trying to get my stuff. Now I'm just joking, but I do have to keep an eye on my stuff just in case. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, so I wanna be careful. But I gotta show you guys the actual systems hooked up to this guy. You see Forza over here, so you know there's an Xbox. <laughs> but check it out. Right here, I've got the PlayStation 4, and of course, I've got the VR headset. We've got some controllers. We've got a keyboard to use with it. And we've got a ton of cables since the VR headset needs so many. But virtual reality, right here on the PS4. Over here, I have the best looking Xbox One, not counting the One S, and this is the Halo 5 edition. And I've got a couple of controllers here as well. The best looking controller for the Xbox One. This thing looks awesome and it works really well with the theme of the room. Of course, I got an Elite controller and a couple of other things, so Xbox One. And I've got the actual cameras for both the Xbox One and the PS4. So even though I'm wearing a PS4 shirt right now, the Xbox One gets some love as well. I don't pick sides. And on the last side, we've got a Wii U. Don't tell anybody. But no, I do have a Wii U. And of course, I do have some controllers here as well. So if people want to come over and play, I've got all different options. Got that Smash Brothers controller over here. So, uh, you know, if anyone ever wants to play Wii U, can do that <laughs> but over here we have all of the games now I also have some Gundams you guys know I'm a huge fan of Gundam and I build quite a few of them so I've got them over here I've got some pokeballs because you know I live that anime life but over here I got all the games so whenever you want to play a game over here you just grab one off the shelf now it's terrible because so many of these games are still in the wrapping. Uh, over here, we've got the collector's edition of Star Ocean, and that's in the wrap. Uh, got some more stuff in the wraps as well. So I don't know why I keep buying games, folks, but I do it because I'm a gamer at heart. 
I just need to find the time to play it all. And speaking of games, gotta pay some homage to my favorite series yet. This is the Final Fantasy series. Over here, we've got Final Fantasy VIII's main character, Squall. Over here, Final Fantasy X's Titus. And uh, it just gives the room an awesome, awesome look. And down here is where you just kind of enjoy it all. This is the couch that I got picked this up from Ikea. And I've got some uh, Philip Hue strips and lights all around it so that it gives it a nice glowing effect. And I've also got the uh, speakers for the Sonos sound system. These are the Sonos Play 1s, I believe. So when you're sitting down right in the middle, you're enjoying the really big screen. You've got the sound coming from the front and two sounds coming from the sides. So it gives you that uh, surround sound feel. So it's really, really nice. And all right, guys, check this out. This is what I call the portable gaming section. So over here, you can see I've got a, portal, a couple of portable systems. I've got some 3DSs, of course, with some Pokemon on it, because you got to. And of some 3DS XLs, and even a PlayStation Vita, because the Vita has my heart, man. Just wish I had more games. But you sit down right in this chair. This is a special chair, because it's got some built-in uh, speakers here. So if you're playing, and you want to enhance your portable gaming experience, you plug this in, throw that volume up, and you, you know, you get an enhanced portable gaming experience just so that you're not sitting here just playing it like this. You could play it anywhere like this, but with the speakers in the chair, adds a little more depth, makes it more enjoyable. And if a, if a game has a good soundtrack, makes it even better. Now what's really awesome about this chair is that the speakers are right on the sides of your head so you can really hear it sounds great. And down here you've got some controls so that you can actually increase the bass or you can increase the volume, however you wanna do it. Now this is the X Rocker. I'll, I'll of course have links to this and everything else. I'll try to do everything else in this video down in the description so you can check that out. But this is a nice little setup guys, I love it. Sit down here, play some games and you get to really rock out. Now I know you guys probably saw a peek over there, but just give me a second, we'll get to that. But over here, we have my Gundam collection. This is something I've worked on forever. Each of these has taken countless hours, and over here, we've got a giant one. This is a perfect grade. This one takes the time of like three of these, easily. And you know, it's holding my uh, special plaque for 100,000 subscribers. You know we're on the road to 1 million, so if you haven't subscribed yet and you're watching this, subscribe. But yeah, this is my collection that I've amassed over time. It's taken quite some time. These all take forever. And I just like the way this is showcased. Since this game room is all about the things I love, I had to get this inside of here. So it kind of just looks great. And this isn't the only one. I've actually got another one over here. And this is the these I didn't build myself. These are more like pre-built, but they're all pretty rare, very rare. They're all from Japan, collectibles, and they just look awesome. I, don't, I also don't have to worry about them falling apart because I built them, <laughs> but these are really awesome, and I just had to have my Gundams. You guys see me put them in the videos all the time, so I had to show them off here. You guys have seen this in a previous video, but this is what I'm gonna be using as a cool little set whenever I have products, probably pay something over here. Uh, it's got this uh, motorized desk, so I can move this up and down whenever I want. And you know, I can build this out however I want, throw whatever props up there, make it a nice little shooting space. And you know, I gotta have another poster over here so it's not bland. And we got Avatar Aang, the best Avatar. That chorus stuff, we don't mess with that. This is the stuff right here. And uh, over here, we've got this cool little lamp I got from Amazon. Looks pretty awesome. It's got a LifeX bulb inside of here, since the Philip Hughes bulbs don't change to this particular color. So I'm really trying to do the whole teal thing in here. And uh, these bulbs were actually able to help me do that. All right, so I know you guys got a peek of this already, but this is the gaming PC. Now, I put a lot of effort into getting this whole situation hooked up cable management, all that stuff. But this is it, this is the desk, this is the area. This is where I get my first real leap into gaming on a PC. Thanks to Main Gear, who hooked me up with this gaming PC right here, which I'm calling Flood. Now you know teal is the main color of this room, white, teal, black, that's kind of like the theme here. And Main Gear was able to capture that 
perfectly with this system. Now, if you're wondering about specs, we've got two GeForce 1080s in here and an i7-6700 uh, processor. So if you want all the details, I'll have that link down below in the description. I have all this information in a much more detailed video, so stay tuned for that. Now, they were able to make a system for me that was going to handle having three Acer Predator X34s. So I've got three ultra wide screens right here so that I can have a super, super immersive gaming experience. And I've also even got the Oculus Rift hooked up to this. So if you guys can see it here, this is the sensor and I've got the Oculus. So like I said, is going, this room has like all the aspects of gaming. So we've got virtual reality, which is a bit better than that PlayStation VR. So that's over here. We've got the Xbox controller to go with it. Now, just actually taking a quicker look at the desk, we've got a next desk, which is also a motorized desk. So even though this thing is hooked up and set up and wired up, I can use the desk to mount it. This is about the safe height over here so that I can, uh, still have my cables hidden pretty decently and uh, not have everything rip and fall apart. So this, pretty, this looks pretty good and it functions really well if I wanna stand, so this is awesome. Over here, I have some Audio Engine A5s. So these are amazing. They've got some insane sound quality. They're very powerful. I've even got the subwoofer over here at the bottom and they pack a punch. I'm afraid to even play it at max capacity because my neighbors are going to freak out, but it's amazing. And taking a look at the peripherals, I've got a SteelSeries K800 keyboard. So of course it's matching the theme here. And something I really like is that when you hit a button, it goes into orange, it turns into an orange key. So kind of those UAC colors, the teal, the orange, kind of gives a little ode to that. And I even have two mouses here. Now this is a bit unorthodox because I just can't pick one between the two of these. I've got the Logitech G900, which is a really awesome mouse, but I gotta say, I do like the SteelSeries mouse over here because it has a couple of awesome features, like having my logo right on the mouse. This is insane, folks. So this is a really awesome mouse and it feels a lot more ergonomic, but they're just, this one's wireless. So, you know, they've got their trade-offs. I decided, you know what? I can pick between the two whenever I want. I can just grab whichever one I want at the moment. So I've got two over there. And if you haven't noticed, everything is illuminated with RGB colors. So I got the colors here on the mouse. This one's cycling through all the colors. And I even have a mouse pad that does it as well. So all the colors are represented here. Teal is real and it's here to stay. Love it. I've even got my uh, Sony here on headphones. So these, there's probably so much green and teal going on over here that you can't even see it properly, but these go perfectly with it. As well as this chair, this is a Herman Miller chair. Uh, huge shout out to Ari who's recording this. Uh, she got me this for uh, my birthday. So I was able to uh, fit this into the room really nicely. Now I've got my favorite headphones over here and I can use these whenever I want, but I also have this gaming headset because come on, you gotta have a gaming headset for the PC. And these are the Logitech G933s. Now this is awesome because it has the uh, RGB lights as well. But of course I have it so that it matches with the room. So these headphones, these are awesome. These sound great, they're super comfortable. And these are what I'm rocking with this whole system. And just check this out guys. Side by side with the uh, flood system over here, they go perfectly. It's just, it's just such an awesome setup guys. And we didn't talk about this, but this is my favorite Gundam right here. This is the Double O Riser 7 Sword. Looks awesome. He has to be on the desk with me. His spot is right here, but he has to be on the desk because he's that cool. And we've got this little uh, notification system thing right here called the Naughty. Now with this, when your phone goes off, if you get a missed call or you get a text message or an app goes off, you can actually get a notification here. It changes color and this actually matches with the room pretty well. If I'm playing a game, and I'm like really immersed into it and I'm not paying attention, the blinking light can go off and let me know that, hey, there's some activity going on on my phone. So that's an awesome little touch here. And check these out. We've got some panels to kind of give the desk some style, uh, liven it up a bit, make it a bit more personable. And over here, we've got this drawer that holds the Oculus, of course, and the controller. You guys saw that, but in here, 
we've got quite a few phones from super old school phones like the very first Android phone, the G1. This is uh, my baby right here, true, true blue, even though it's not blue. Second drawer, even more phones. Uh, they're just kind of just racking up at this point. And down here, we've got a few Android devices, Android Wear devices, and an Apple Watch. This is the first version. But we've got quite a few options over here. And you guys know me, and you know how I do. These are a bunch of Ziploc bags with cables, so I can always have options readily available. Mm. And, uh, oh, peep this. These are from Select Blinds. These are blinds that are motorized. There's a remote over there, so I can remotely do this. But yeah, I can completely control these blinds from afar. This is really, really cool. I love these. Kind of just makes having blinds a bit more futuristic. That's how it's got to be over here at UACHQ. And last but not least, I know you thought it was over, but I still got one more room to show you guys. Come check this out. This is just a closet, but it's an awesome closet. This is where I store all my headphones. I've got quite a few of them. You guys know I've been doing headphone videos for years now, and you know, they kind of rack up. Over here, up top, above them, are the boxes for all of my Gundams. I'll give you guys a more in-depth video about everything in here. Check out those backpacks at the bottom. All tech backpacks, baby. If you guys wanna see more, a more in-depth video about what's inside of there, let me know with a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is my ultimate gamer's paradise. All the tech that you could imagine, all the games that you could imagine. And uh, I'm pretty proud of it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.